You're going to be in films now. You've conquered Broadway nightclubs, records, and anything else. What is the film? Uh, I'm doing a, a film with Meryl Streep, and Mike Nichols is directing, and Kurt Russell. And it's the story of Karen Silkwood. Now, the name of the film again? Uh, it's called Silkwood. When will it be out? I don't know. We start taping it in, uh, or filming it in September. Well, I can't talk about it in specifics because uh, Mike doesn't want us to talk about it, but I can talk about it kind of in generalities. You know, I, I got this job working with Meryl and Mike Nichols. I was doing a play in, um, in New York called Come Back to the Five and Dime, and on a Wednesday, Mike Nichols came to um, see the matinee. And then he came backstage and said, do you remember when you... Uh, do you remember when you said that you were really a talented actress and I'd be sorry if I didn't hire you, which I wanted to be hired for a movie called The Fortune, and he just didn't think I was right. And he said, well, you're really talented, and would you do a film with me if you didn't see the script? It's with Meryl Streep. And I said, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> and uh, so I did. And um, it was really amazing. It was, uh, Meryl is amazing to work with, you know, and... It was strange for her, too, because it was really the first time she's done a film with another woman that she has a lot of scenes with, and that was interesting. And the winner is Cher in <laughs> For Mike Nichols, who um, was wonderful, and for Meryl Streep, who is the best friend I've ever had, and uh, for Kurt Russell, who is an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> This work is really important for me, more important than most of the other work that I've done. And I don't know if it's, if it's actually more important, but the intensity, you know, I, I felt in doing Silkwood, you know, I, I felt a real responsibility to be good and to be, I was terrified thinking, how am I going to be good next to Meryl Streep? I mean, you know, you could start out smaller, you know, Suzanne Summers, and then work your way up. <laughs> But uh, I was very nervous, and and then I thought that would have been a long way up. Yeah. <laughs> we might as well both just jump in together. All right, let's just jump on her to death. Okay? <laughs> what does she care? No, well, you know what? It's really strange. I I don't mean that with any kind of um, with real real animosity because I was two years ago, Suzanne Summers, our Pia Zadora. I mean, as long as you're down. No, 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 no. I mean, listen for a second. When you're down and people kind of take these cheap shots at you, you know, the thing that you have to do is just say, okay, fine. And then you work your way out. I was scared. Before I went to do Silkwood, I was packing my bags, and I said to my sister, I'm not going. She said, why? And I said, because I can't possibly, I can't work with Meryl Streep my second time. I just am not ready for it. You know, it happens to girls that don't monitor themselves. Your nipples turn green. Maybe later, but not now. My sister said, you know, they saw your work. Let them be the judge of it. Um, Mike Nichols saw you in Jimmy Dean. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, now you're performing in Silkwood opposite the certainly the most sought after woman in film today, Meryl mm. Streep. You had to be a little crazy, or no? No, I, I once I met Meryl and we started working, I wasn't nervous at all, but I almost didn't go because I was packing and I just said to my sister, I cannot go and work with Meryl Streep. There's no way. I just can't. I was like so nervous and. My sister said, well, you know, they saw you, she saw you. If they hadn't liked your work, if they didn't think you could do it, you wouldn't be going. And I said, yeah, but what if they're wrong? She said, well, when you get there, you'll know. And when I met Meryl, she was so fabulous, and it was so easy. I'm not really saying, I mean, I don't want to sound like, you know, very flip, but acting seems to be something that is very easy to do for me. Uh, obviously, it doesn't hurt uh, working with Meryl. Absolutely and, and, not. And apparently, your relationship was off-screen as well. I mean, she, yes. you were buddies. I mean, I think that 
It was strange and it was easy. It was scary to work with Meryl my first time. Well, my first time I actually worked with Sandy Dennis. You know, I, I have not worked with any slouch people since right. I've, I've gotten to do this. Working with Sandy Dennis was one of the most fabulous experiences I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And working with Meryl was also one of the most fabulous experiences. Working with Mike Nichols is a joy beyond compare. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role are Sharon Moonstar, Meryl Streep in Iron League. The winner is Cher in Moonstar. And I also would like to thank Mary Louise Streep, who I feel so unbelievable that I did my first movie with her and now I was nominated with her, and I feel really thankful. Mary Louise Streep is also a hero. Meryl Streep is also an incredible singer. She uses her voice like she does everything else with amazing grace. Is this true? You and Meryl, you've been friends for a very long time. Yes. You once saved someone's life yes. in New York. Yes. What happened? Meryl was, she just had Mamie and we were downtown at her apartment. She wanted to get some ice cream. And I said, but is it dangerous down here? She said, no, no, it's Little Italy on one side and Chinatown on the other side and we'll be safe as two peas in a pod. So we're walking and we, and we are about to turn the corner and we hear screaming, death curdling screams, you know? And, and we go around the corner and there's this gigantic man ripping this girl's clothes off on one side, the left side and just ripping her shirt. And Meryl starts screaming, and I start screaming, and we run towards this gigantic man, and he turns and starts running towards us. And I don't know how it happened, but she went to the left and I went to the right, and he ran through us. But this man was like in 6,000 feet tall. So we went up to the girl, and all of her clothes were torn, and she was clutching her bag. and. And so we're putting her together, kind of trying to get her to look a little bit, you know, like she hasn't just been ravished. And she looks at us and she goes, oh my God, I was saved by Meryl Streep and Cher. I'm an actress and I work in a cafe where we sing and all my friends are gonna be so jealous. <laughs> What was it like reuniting with Meryl Streep for you? Well, you know, we've been we've stayed friends all these years. Thirty-five so. years after yes. being in Silkwood I together. I cannot believe that. <laughs> that was my first film, and she helped me. I mean, she was unbelievable. You know, because I had no idea what I was doing. You're playing Meryl Streep's mother. Yes. And you're three years apart. Four, actually. Four, four years yeah. apart. What did you think about that? I didn't really think it had much to do with anything. I just thought it was cool. I love her. Well, I love her. <laughs> and when I walked, my first day on the set, she was singing. I came on the set and she was singing wow. Fernando. That was, that was the first day. And thank I God I didn't know. Well, I've been, I've been nervous, but someone said, you know, afterwards, Meryl was on the set. And I said, oh God, I'm so happy I didn't know. <laughs> Do you think there could be another one? And could you two be in well, it again? will be 102, but I'm ready to do it. <laughs> but still looking amazing. Right. That's and the, I would be four is, years older than you. You two, what is the secret? Look at you. You look phenomenal. We're immature. <laughs> do you think that's what it is? I am sort of true. Yeah, we are.